Dear students, welcome to the e-learning. This initiative has been taken by Cambridge International School, the Sua. Hello, I am Navdeep, working as PGTIP here. Students, uh, it's a time to uh, take care of your health and also help your family members and uh, follow the guidelines given by the government from time to time. So now moving on to the today's uh, topic. Students, uh, today we are going to focus on data frame basics. We have already covered uh, the data frame in a comprehensive way, but uh, I am just making a sort of a revision here. So in data frames, we'll focus on the creation part. How, what are different ways of creating a data frame? So moving to the topic further. Students, uh, this slides give you the broader picture that what are the components are there in our syllabus? What is their weightage? So finally, uh, in the literal part, we have to focus on a project. So it's very important that we cover all these topics in a uh, very professional way so that at the end we can prepare a uh, project of uh, around about 500 lines of code. Clear? So moving next. So we are focusing now on data frames and series. So these are the two important data structures in Pandas. So that we are focusing for last couple of uh, lectures. What is Pandas? So we have already discussed number of times that this is a package in Python. And basically this deals with data analysis. So very important and both the data frame and uh, series data structures, they fall under Pandas. We have already discussed in the uh, last couple of lectures about series. So students, the difference between series and data frame is series is a one dimensional label data, whereas data frame is a two dimensional. So this is the basic difference, very important that you focus on this point. And here in uh, the series, it is capable of holding data of any type, maybe it integers, strings, floating point, or different Python objects. The axis labels are collectively referred to as index. So here uh, we have gone through this example number of times. So this picture uh, focuses more on series, but it also depicts what the data frame is. Because from a series combined together, we can make a data frame. Because a series is depicting a single dimensional object. But when we are combining multiple single uh, dimensional object, that formulates a data frame. So series is about a one column and combining it makes it data frame. so on the left hand side you can see the index here so here uh, this example we covered in the last lecture that is we took the example of mba file and where each column or each attribute basically was a representing my series like name team and number so these are the th three series that we created from the mba file so it's very important. All the topics are very interrelated and we need to focus in a very uh, detailed manner. Moving forward. So we discussed that uh, these are the three different ways of creating the series. From these, these three different uh, types of data, we can create a dictionary from Python, from n-dimensional array or from a scalar value. And we practically did all the three methods. And students, you see uh, very carefully that series takes two parameters. One is data, second is index. And uh, for this, that we imported NumPy and Pandas here in this example. 
Student, uh, in the last lecture, we focused on indexing, select, indexing and selecting data in series, and also we focused on the how to slice the data. Clear? So, indexing in pandas means simply selecting particular data from a series. So, indexing, we have focused on number of lectures, what is indexing is basically. So, indexing could mean the selecting all the data, we can select whole of the data, we can select a particular data. So, indexing can also be known as a subset selection. That is what we meant by the term slicing. So, slicing, selecting, indexing, very interrelated these terms are there. They are interdependent on each other. Now, the students, today we will focus on the data frame. The very first point I, I covered in the earlier slide, that is, series is a one-dimensional, data frame is a two-dimensional. So, data frame is a two-dimensional labeled data structure with columns of potentially different types. Because in real life, we don't find all the columns of same type. Clear? We, you can take the example of databases also, like a student table. A student table consists of student name, that is of character type, uh, fees, it is of numeric type. Clear? So, the uh, data is, most of the times, it is of different types. So, we have to relate it with practical scenario also. We can think uh, of it like a spreadsheet. So, we can compare it with like a uh, spreadsheet, Excel, or a SQL table. Now, there are different ways of uh, creating the data frame. So, few of them are listed here. Clear? So, that we have already discussed this. Now, we'll practically do these things today. Now, students, uh, moving to the examples, how we are going to create the data frames. So, we start with the very first example. So, here in the first example, we are going to create a data frame from dictionary of series or dicts. Students, in this example, you can see that uh, this is a basically a dictionary because it is enclosed in this curly brackets. We, from here, we directly know that we are talking of a dictionary. And inside this, we have used two series. So, we are both using series also as well as the dictionary and series we have discussed in our last lecture only clear what is a series is that is basically we have this column this is the basically this will work as a data for the series and this is the index clear so uh, this dictionary and series we are using in the same object and finally uh, we are uh, converting this uh, d variable to a data frame with the help of uh, pandas pandas method data frame will convert this data to a data frame that is a two-dimensional object and finally with df we have printed the result so now we will move to the jupyter and we will do this practice now student students moving to the note jupyter notebook so here we start with the very first method our first method is that uh, we have to create uh, the data frame from dictionary of of series okay so very first step is import numpy as np import pandas as pd now focusing on the dictionary part that's d is equal to start with the example in course one and then we start with the column we use pandas series method to create a series and here we supply the values two, three, and then finally four. These three values, and then we supply the second parameter of the series that is the index part, 
and in index we supply the values let's say first value is in course p second index value is q and the third index value is let's say r clear so now we are going to work on the second object that is 2 so this is my key and the values are another series pd dot series and here i let's say enter four values two then three then four five so these are my values and uh, on the index side will I, I will also have to pass now four values only first one is let's say p second one is let's say q q and then finally r then finally the last, last value is next value is s so students uh, these are my uh, index values for the second series now i will have to convert this one to a data frame so for that the statement is pd dot data frame and students uh, the d and f should be capital because this is the built-in function we have converted into a data frame and finally showing the data frame now just go to the run option and this will run in a few times because first program it takes a bit time clear the start depicts that my program is now in the running mode and the initial one it will take some time and the rest one it will do very fast so here what we have done students basically we have used two series series uh, first series having uh, three members the second series is having four members clear this is the difference and then we have converted this one dictionary this combined uh, this dictionary contain basically two series and uh, then with the help of this data frame object we have converted into a uh, this dictionary into a data frame so this is what we are doing data frame conversion creating a data frame from the dictionary of series so now soon you will find the output so students uh, the next you, you are able to see the output this is my uh, first series this is my second series and these are its value so you can see that the series number one is having three values and series two is having four values so that's why n n value is inserted for the index value s clear because the first is having only three values so n n stands for not a number so this is how we have uh, created a data frame from a series now students in the step number two now we can focus on how to create the data frame from dictionary of n dimensional arrays or lists okay so this is, we are going to focus on the second method now for in first we have used series and dictionary now we are using list and dictionary so we start with this one so create a variable d is equal to let's say one contains my this is my key and values are in the form of a list 4 then 5 then 6 then 7 so this is my first list and now you can see my second list this is its key 2 is the key and values are 7 then 6 then 5 then 4 
so this is my dictionary containing the list or and national arrays now students converting into a data frame simply you say pd from method is data frame and converting into a d and uh, this is you can see that now it has been converted into a the two uh, list have been converted into a data frame so this is the simple one that uh, how we are going to perform on this one similarly now we can change its index value like see here pd dot because by default their index values are 0 1 2 3 now i can give and i can explicitly mention the index values like this pd dot data frame i pass the first parameter as d my dictionary and i now pass the index explicitly and uh, let's say the index values are this w then goes x then in goes y and finally the z so i have now attached the index value now you will find the fresh index value so now students uh, you can see this the by default index value 0 1 2 3 are uh, replaced with the index value that i have explicitly entered uh, like w x y and z so this is the uh, way we can enter the index value from our own site now students uh, we work with the third method that is the creation of data frames from a list of dictionaries so how this is done you see here now in the example let's say create a variable data is equal to now i start with the list and inside the list now i have it first dictionary so the dictionary now first key is p and its corresponding value is 2 then the second key is q and its corresponding value is 4 so this is the first dictionary now i create the second dictionary inside a list now the concept is totally changed earlier we were using the creating the list inside the dictionary now we are creating the dictionary inside the list so my first value is p and then it's its corresponding value is 5 then the second key value is q and the corresponding value is 10 then is the third key r and its value is any value you can enter 50 clear so this is what we have now here what is there the dictionaries are now two dictionaries this is dictionary one this is dictionary two and they are inside the list now to convert into a data frame the statement is pd dot data frame method and then we have to just apply the data variable just go and run this one and uh, here you are saying that uh, p q r clear so these are the columns that we have they have been converted into columns and the first is having uh, like a value 2 for the corresponding value of q is 4 and for the corresponding value of r there is no r in the first dictionary that's why this is n a and the uh, second dictionary this is p having a value 5 the second q variable is having a value 10 and the third r is having a value 15 clear so this is the their index value 0 and 1 so this is how the we can create a list of dictionary students and we can now see here we can also enter there explicitly we can enter there index value so like i first parameter is data 
and then in the second I enter the index index is equal to I name first value as first and the second and second so they will now get replaced with 0 and 1 so now see the 0 and 1 are replaced with the index value that I have explicitly mentioned first and second so students we have focused uh, different ways of creating the data frame so you look at them carefully and try to practice them Finally, now see the scenario number another pd dot data frame and i pass the data and then i explicitly mention the columns so my columns are there first column is p and second column is q so i want to see these two columns only clear so just run so you are able to see the these two columns only clear so these are the different ways we can work with them so students we have learned uh, different ways of creating the uh, data frames hope you have found uh, today's session uh, interesting so moving back to the ppt uh, students uh, you can refer to this sites uh, for the as a resource and also look your uh, textbooks also so this is uh, what the resources contains for the day and at the end of the session i thank you all for attending the session thank you thank you very much